Belize Healthcare Partners Limited continues to function as normal and stands ready with its staff to provide medical services to COVID-19 patients. Since the outbreak in Wuhan, China, and realizing that it would evolve into a pandemic, the private medical facility has been preparing its medical professionals and staff for the eventuality. Now there are two confirmed cases of the virus, and at this time, it is contained on Amberger's Key. But in the event that it spreads to mainland, the institution has retrofitted isolation units for COVID-19 patients at its facility. This hospital, from the time it was built, um, all the rooms were equipped with uh, medical air and medical gases. So in essence, uh, that made it possible for us to create a physical barrier separation between a, a set of rooms and the rest of the hospital. Um, the area where we are now, the isolation unit, is self-contained. Um, we have at present uh, three rooms set aside, two with ventilators, one for patients who may be ill but not requiring ventilation. Um, we plan to expand uh, by two more rooms, so in essence we should be able to have four ventilation capable rooms and one room set aside for patients who don't require ventilations. Chief of Staff Dr. Andre Sosa says that given the necessary provisions as it relates to personal protective gear and ventilators, the private hospital can become a 14-room intensive care unit hospital. We have to be with our patients, with the Belizean people, both in the good times and in the bad times. There is an emergency that is looming and we have to prepare for the worst case scenario, in which case uh, there won't be any differentiation between private and public uh, entities. Uh, in the event of a national emergency, we, we are prepared to do our part. Certainly there's a lot of apprehension. Nobody wants to die. In this uh, epidemic, all of us are at risk. Some of us are m more vulnerable than others. No? And that's essentially why I prefer the last time you know, that we need to to care for uh, our elderly people uh, and especially for those that have some medical background and I refer to those patients that have history of hypertension, congestive heart failure, patients that have history of uh, chronic bronchitis, emphysema. Uh, in Belize, what is the other group of patients we need to look after is the patient with diabetes because those patients with diabetes most of the time the diabetes also uh, can lead to us to develop other conditions. For some time now the medical facility has installed sanitation posts manned by a nurse who guided by the Ministry of Health Advisory checks persons to differentiate between patients who have respiratory complications similar to that of COVID-19 and those with other health conditions. There is a welcome uh, committee for patients and it essentially is a nurse uh, who takes the person's um, temperature, uh, makes uh, the hand sanitizer available, but also goes through a checklist of questions to identify those who might have fever, coughing, uh, any symptoms that could be related to COVID-19. But, you know, given the fact that we are in the flu season still and that there are people with cough and cold, uh, we have to check everyone. The COVID-19 patient won't come uh, with a name tag or with an ID saying that he or she has it. At the same time, too, we have to protect our other patients. We do carry on with um, hemodialysis here. We have ill patients with other conditions uh, where their immune systems are compromised, and of course, the general patient population. Around the hospital, there are various signs to promote proper hand washing techniques and social distancing when entering the facility. There's also a hotline number which persons can call if they believe they have symptoms of COVID-19. Doctor on the line will make the necessary questions and, and queries and then they will advise you as to what to do, uh, where uh, you can seek help. As it is, um, our pharmacy also has uh, made provisions to be able to deliver uh, medications to your home so that you don't have to come out. Dwayne Moody for News 5.